Sharp Game here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. The submissive man. What is a submissive man? And this is a question that I got a couple days ago. And at some point in every man's life, we all have been submissive and most of us are still submissive most men will always be submissive to women and a lot of guys do it without even thinking they automatically do it and, you know, in, in this modern day and time, in the Western world, and even in the Eastern part of the world, you know, we live in a time where, you know, women have been put in positions economically, uh, socially, to be to be perceived as being better than men so you know most guys you know you put women on a pedestal she's special she's beautiful she has a nice body pretty face nice smile you know you you might meet a woman one day you know and she's it's like when you first meet her you're like she's the one she's beautiful nice smile nice body nice face and she's you know she check she checks all the boxes that you have she's educated she's easy going for the time being she has a decent paying job she maybe she has a house nice car you know, the works, all the good stuff that people talk about and brag about. And you date her for a couple of weeks and you say, man, she's the one, man. You know, then you propose to her. You spend on the engagement ring, you spend 2000 5000 however much you're willing to pay, basically. She says yes. And now you're planning the best day of your life, the wedding. You know, that's like the, the, the main event. And now, you know, it's, it's going to cost 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, probably 200,000 for a wedding. It just depends on how much you're willing to spend, how much you can afford, whether the family going to, whether the, family gonna pay help pay it or pay all of it who knows but nine times out of ten you're going to go in debt somebody's gonna go in debt you know spending money for this wedding even the wedding ring is gonna probably gonna put you in debt you're gonna spend five two thousand five thousand ten thousand so you spent thousands of dollars on the engagement ring and the wedding ring and plus she spent money on the the wedding ring for you so both of y'all gonna be in debt once everything's said and done this is usually how it happens but at the end of the day you're going to be responsible for picking up the tab because that's what happens in, in the United States of America it all falls on the guy at the end of the day. So, once the wedding is over, this is where the magic happens. This is when it's time to put the work in. So, it's all about her. So now your whole entire existence is to make her happy. Whatever that means to her. So, 
you know, whatever she needs, you got it. Whatever your whole strategy is to make her life easier. Why? Because she's the woman. And because you think she's special. And the reason why you think she's special don't necessarily got anything to do with what she's accomplished or she might not even earned it at all you know so you feel the need to take her take her out you know the, the, the restaurant or vacation and you know you're you know showing her around showing her off to your friends and family and the people at work and you know all the good stuff you know and most of the time a lot of these women don't feel like they deserve the the treat level of treatment that you're probably giving her anyway you know i mean like you you probably for example you might open the door for her she might be surprised you open the door for her you know she might, she, she might be, she might be the type that used to you going through the door first and you holding the door open for her, but you know, but you feel the need to let her open the door and let her go on first. And she might not even say, thank you. You know why? Because she look at you like you're her servant, you're her little slave. And that's how. That's how a lot of women, married women, see these guys. So you're so y'all continue to be married. You have kids, you know. Then when you have kids, you know what's next. You gotta buy the house. And then when and then when you buy the house, you gotta you know you gotta you're gonna have more bills now. So you so you so that means you're gonna have to have more money, more income. So now you're slaving away because you cannot afford a house, car, medical bills, and all the expenses that's been piling up over the past couple of years, you know, and all the restaurant spending, the taking the vacation, the trying to keep up with the Joneses and, and see, you really haven't had time to sit down and think about any of this stuff. Because you've been working like a slave five, six days a week, probably seven days a week, and you haven't had time to really sit down and think about any of this stuff. Because the wife, she's just spending, doing stuff, and you're just trying to keep up with the tab. So 10, 15 years go by, maybe 20 years go by, and now you're burned out. You just figured out that you don't really have enough money to take care of the household and yourself. So now you're burned out. The wife, she's happy. You know, she's bragging her friends about, oh, my man, I love my man. He's a good man. You know, everybody's happy except for you. You're neglected. You haven't had a good lay or a good suck in years the only time you get a good lay is you have to go to the side chick you know then you go back home act like everything's okay everybody's happy because if the wife is happy happy wife happy life right so now you know that you know that keeps going things keep going then at, at, at some point in time, you know, the bills and everything is going to be overwhelming. So something has to break. Something has to crack. Either the bills going to crack, going to crack you open, or you're going to burn out and end up in a hospital or something like that. Or you're going to just pass the hell out or get sick. Something has to, to break. You Either you're going to get sick or... The bills is just going to become so overwhelming. Y'all going to have to make some changes or like a lifestyle change or something like that. Something has to happen. They say pressure busts pipes. 
So if something's going to happen, it's only a matter of time. So now, you know, that's when the, the arguing and the bickering comes. And one person thought thought this, and we're not on the same page. But the only page you should have been on is your page. Because that's the only page that really makes any sense, practically speaking and logically speaking. But you didn't see it that way because you put her on a pedestal because women are special by default in the United States of America. And you want to know why? Because they said so. <laughs> but you never bothered to question that. And, and you submitted to a woman that didn't have to do anything to earn it. You know, at least back in the day when I, when I was growing up, at least women earned it. But today, women don't even have to earn anything. All they have to do is just show up, look nice, nice clothes, and guys that just automatically do stuff. All right, for, I'll give you a good example. You probably, you have, have you ever seen a girl and a guy together walking somewhere, probably in a store, probably on a sidewalk, probably at the restaurant, and probably at a resort? And you, you probably have said, man, what the hell is, is she doing with him? And he, man, he look all rough. You know, he look like he got braids and dreadlocks and all that stuff. And the reason why you said that is because you thought she was better than him because you put her on a pedestal just because of how she looks, right? And every guy has has done that you know and we've been conditioned to be that way you know so i understand i understand how it goes down i understand how it happens but see see the trick is the truth is and i wrote about this in my book the truth is you're the prize because see practically and logically speaking, we as men, we really don't need women. Now it's nice for women to be around. Hey, you know, I'm I'm a big I'm a big fan of women, you know, but we don't really need them. They need us because they can't reproduce by themselves. See if 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 every guy disappeared today women would die off they would but if women disappeared and we were here we would be okay but it would be it would be a, a catastrophe but we would survive and women the average woman you, you know they they they're good at certain things you know i don't believe women aren't I don't believe anyone is better than anybody until proven otherwise. You know, I always, always say I'm for women, women's rights. I'm not against it. I just don't believe that um, women should dominate men. And that's what a lot of these women are talking about. A lot of these women don't, don't want no equal rights. They just want to take over the whole goddamn thing and dominate everything they want to be able to do what they want to do say what they want to say without no consequences without being judged and their money won't be messed up as you know by default or whatever so i'm for women's rights no doubt about it but you know women are good at doing one thing and guys are good at doing another so it's a balance you know, but at the same time, you know, if I always use this example, when women try to, you know, play the power game and talk about, you know, who's better than who and all this stuff. And I always say, I don't see any women on the front lines. I don't see any women defending the country or defending the land or defending the family. Or I don't see any women putting their lives on the line out here. You know, I always use this example. I said, hey, if if we're 
at your house and 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 that and the, and the door gets kicked in what are you going to do and most women usually say i don't know i already know what you're going to you're going to yell and scream and they're going to come after me first because i'm not an easy target they're going to take me up they're going to take the strongest target out first and then they're going to deal with you next because you're the weaker target because you're a woman and you're not physically strong stronger than men now there are some women that got special training or whatever but that's not the average woman the average woman is can't take probably won't be able to take a punch or maybe she can throw one if she got some special training or something like that but that's just not the case so you know it just is what it is we're not equal yoke here it's just it, it, we aren't built like that we're not designed to be that way it's not supposed to be that way but a lot of people in this society want to reinvent the wheel so you know you have to get to a point where you have to recondition your mind that you're the prize and not the other way around and, and until you begin to recondition your mind and get to a point where you're the prize and not the other way around you're always going to submit to women you're always going to fall for the shaming tactics you're always going to do their bidding you should never do what they want you to do you should do do it when you want to do it if you want to do it i mean like like for example i got a a a, a friend of mine you know he's getting married soon and he's turned on because the girl is she's a professor um she's educated she got a house got money so he just so he just automatically submitted now he wants to get married to her she's the one just because of that you know so i asked him so i said hey what about if she didn't have education or she just had a job working at ups and she had a car and an apartment would you get married to her he said no so so i said so he submitted to her because she got money professor at college at a university she got a house no kids and he's turned on by that and, and so see this is a very submissive way of being so until you get past the, the mindset of women are better than you you're always going to be spinning your wheels in society and you don't have to get married to a woman through a third party that's another thing you don't have to get married to this you don't have to get married to the state to be together with a woman you don't have to have the common relationship to common marriage. You don't have to follow everybody else. So until you recondition your mind, your way of thinking, you're always going to have a very difficult time. And I talk about a lot of this in my book, Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. And go to my website, chooseyourrelationships.com, and check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash sharp game. So share this video on your, on your social media networks. Share it with anybody that you think it would help. Because this message is very important. And I think every young man, especially, should really understand what I'm talking about and where I'm coming from with this so if you like what you heard 
subscribe, share this message, check out my website, and feel free to donate by clicking the link below if you want to. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.